Hello everyone, updating uh, you on the weather situation again in the metro. We're seeing things clear out pretty rapidly here. Uh, if you're in the east metro, it is very loud. That's what we had here in Minneapolis in the western suburbs. Some heavy rain, lightning, thunder, but again, nothing severe in the metro. All the severe parameters have shifted south, and that's where we have some very nasty storms right now, uh, the south central part of the state. <clears throat> We'll run through some of those warnings that are out there right now. Uh, in the south central part of Minnesota, we're looking at a uh, severe thunderstorm warning that is uh, out for uh, areas across, let's see here, if we pull up the Twin Cities, we've got uh, some severe thunderstorm or severe thunderstorm warning across the south central part of the state. This was issued about a half hour ago that's out for another 15 minutes for the uh, Faribault, Martin, uh, Blue Earth, and Watonwan counties. Uh, that's where we're seeing some of the uh, severe weather warnings at the moment. Uh, otherwise, things are kind of shifting into Wisconsin uh, right now. That's where we're seeing some of the most warnings other than that one that, again, this is the one I was just mentioning here uh, across, uh, again, Faribault, Martin, Blue Earth, and Watonwan counties until 630. So another 15 minutes for this warning here south of Mankato. There's also been that tornado warning uh, that is we haven't gotten a whole lot of updated information on that that was issued at 539 so again a while ago that also goes until 630 and that is for blue earth and wasika counties uh, we will take a look at that storm though because uh, we'll see if if we're seeing some of the same things it's getting farther and farther away uh, a little bit at least from from the radar but it was showing signs of rotation earlier and you can kind of see all these storms popping up around it uh, as well from <coughs> excuse me the different outflow boundaries yeah, it's allergy season, isn't it? Uh, and that's what we're seeing there across the southern part of the state. We're going to put down uh, the uh, storm relative velocity and show you what we're looking at uh, to the south. Uh, and yeah, we're still seeing there's the potential for rotation, but we're really relying on spotters down there. But wherever we see re red and green come together in a small spot, we call that a couplet. Uh, so there is still that tornado warning out again for another 12 minutes. Uh, and that is for that south central part of the state there, Waseca County. They, it looks like they did take Blue Earth County out of the warning, which makes sense uh, since the worst of it now is in uh, the southern part of Waseca County, but it's just starting to move uh, a little further south and east here, so uh, north of the Albert Lee area. So we'll keep watching that. But uh, for the metro, again, here on the northern end of things, we'll put back uh, into preset mode. We are looking at uh, the showers and thunderstorms moving really on out of here you're in the east and south metro still very noisy but i can tell you here in the west metro the sun is already breaking back out there's another line of some showers that could skirt the south metro but all this is moving very quickly to the southeast in fact you can see uh the areas off to the north and west the sun is popping out uh temperatures have jumped back into the 70s and 80s it looks like out towards uh alexandria so uh yeah things are going to clear out pretty quickly for the metro again no severe threat for the metro just these garden variety showers and thunderstorms which are noisy though moving into the east metro and western wisconsin uh, so if you're in the western suburbs in minneapolis we've got maybe another couple of showers here off to the west uh, pretty spotty but uh, if you're looking to get uh, an evening run walk or bike ride in you probably will still be able to do that because we've got light until almost nine o'clock so give it about another hour or so and you should be in the clear but right now uh, it's those warnings to the south and again all the energy uh, for severe weather keeps shifting to the south and east not surprising as those thunderstorms uh, push through and move further south and east so uh, really the focus now shifts to the far southern part of the state and into central and southern wisconsin with again no severe threat anywhere near the metro area we'll just continue to see the, probably this severe thunderstorm watch get trimmed back they already took much of western wisconsin out of it but uh if you're in elbert lee rochester still got to watch those situation there and towards La Crosse as well for that potential for large hail has been a big thing we've been seeing as well as uh, occasionally uh, some tornado activity being spotted with that cell that is now in the exiting Waseca county but i'll put back on some of the hail parameters and you can see the large hail uh, again that is showing up further to the south and southeast. So the cells right now, the nastiest ones are in that south central part of the state. That's where we have severe thunderstorm warnings and still a tornado warning for another 10 minutes or so. Uh, we'll take a quick check and see if there's anything updated coming out of it. it looks like the uh, Twin Cities here, the weather service did uh, extend that warning now until seven o'clock. This is for Freeburn, Faribault, steel and Waseca counties uh, for again tennis ball size hail we've been seeing some very large hail out of this storm and that area of cells has been occasionally producing 
that tornado as well. And uh, we're still seeing some indications of rotation, but it is moving into an area that's farther and farther away from uh, the Twin Cities radar sites, but still a nasty cluster of storms there. And again, in the metro, really clearing out pretty quickly here over the next hour. Uh, we'll have more updates uh, if and uh, when they are necessary.